Go to today, Beverly was very determined, she told me <laughs> off camera, to use a mannequin head. Yes! Oh today. my gosh. To this is a quest. This is a quest that I've conquered. Um, this, by far, is not a 10-minute craft. I guarantee it. Okay. Okay. So you get going okay. on assembly. Okay. <laughs> and you I will said glue this. For you. Okay. Um, you you okay. talk away. But you were determined to get some things kind of rolling okay. in the Michael store, ideas. You know, the thing is, since we opened over eight years ago, right. we have had these styrofoam heads. We Has have it been that long? Male. Wow. We have female. Okay. And we have flat face. No face at all. Yep. Just styrofoam. Yep. Okay. And I, every time I look at them, every time I straighten them, and every time I run across them where they've been planted mysteriously all over the store by <laughs> silly, fun customers that like to relocate them for us, yep. um, I ask myself, why do we sell these and what do you do with them craft-wise? Because we're a craft store, and so of course they can use, you can use them, you know, let's say you have a wardrobe of wigs and you can put your wigs on them. They're wig stands, wonderful, great, yep. okay, very practical. Um, let's say you have a collection of really cool hats. Okay, another That's, great idea. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's fun to have a place to put your hats, but where does the craftiness come into yeah. it? You know, that's the part, the quest that I've had for eight plus years. So, um, so this idea hit me to create um, a leprechaun gnome and um and we all love the gnomes i mean the gnomes continue to trend mm -hmm. which tickles me because i love them and um, <laughs> who doesn't like a good gnome <laughs> they're just cute they're whimsical they make me feel mm -hmm. happy and so um so here we are okay. um the nose yes okay. so grow so we're basically doing assembly um i've prepped everything for you just because of our time factor and you said it took a while and it but... did take a while um, but that's part of a project it is part of a yeah. project and you know what i have conquered now that that burning crafting desire in my brain Good. to come up with a plan so mission complete homework yes. has been met you got an a plus <laughs> <laughs> And so, because we don't sell fake fur at Michael's, I took it upon myself to <laughs> shred yarn. This is a, it's a, it's called um, uh, Thick and Quick. It's oh. a Woolies um, Lion Brand yarn, which is fabulous to work with if you're crocheting or knitting. <laughs> but it's also fabulous if you need to create a beard for a gnome. <laughs> yeah. So I, I painstakingly cut this in about eight inch pieces and then I, I pulled the two strands apart because it's just a two ply yarn, yeah. which is nice. It's really nice to have the two ply yarn. And then oh, I, no. um, yeah, they are. Yeah, <laughs> this might be a struggle. Uh -huh. they, nobody yeah. saw that, don't worry. <laughs> Everything kind of has to be held so it sets up. Uh. Um, but, um, and then it, like I said, I just brushed the yarn out and we've got this wonderful rusty, color for our gnome beard and um, you know it's just um, yeah it's just fun and um, created the hat now I created the hat out of felt mm -hmm. and we have um, um, regular uh, felt it's a thinner um, easy a little bit easier to work with felt and then um, for projects like when you're creating a hat um, you'll want to use the thicker uh, felt it's probably like twice the thickness of um, the regular felt and um and i did create two hats now my advice um if you have not created a hat before is to <laughs> don't <laughs> not do it <laughs> it's not an enjoyable process yeah yeah <laughs> um i would recommend buying your hat <laughs> and we just happen to sell these wonderful hats, hats. Here at the store. <laughs> you know so why you know you can make this a lot easier on yourself if you want one of these adorable little gnomes uh, made with the styrofoam head um if you purchase your hat um but by all means, if you feel that you want to create the hat, um, I would not discourage that by any means. Mm -hmm. It's just that it is a process and, um, and it is one that, um, it's, it's just a little, it's, it's kind of it's a time sticky. consuming yeah. process and, um, and it's a very sticky process. And I'll tell you what, that beard is looking phenomenal. He's, uh, he he's is. straggly. Yes. <laughs> That's the kind of, I think, beard should be kind of like Yeah, that, you, you went know? all the way to the back? I did. Okay. I put some, yep, I gave him some hair in the back, too. He's no. got a lot of neck hair. <laughs> <laughs> we got lots. Go ahead. Don't be shy. <laughs> neck hair is to be had. <laughs> yes. And, you know, I even did use a little bit of hairspray 
on the beard, you know, just oh, to kind of give it a little oh, shape. That's smart. Um, yeah. Which, you know, I mean, because these fibers, you know, they kind of just go all over and they do whatever they want to do. And, and if you do this, it kind of turns into glitter. Um, yeah. or, or the, what do we call it? Should we call that like the glitter phenomenon? Or sure. something where if you open a bottle of glitter, you're going to have it forever. It's going to be your friend forever. <laughs> okay. Um, if you shred some yarn, you're probably going to have yarn everywhere yeah. forever. <laughs> probably. Two days. Well, it's like, yeah, the glitter, how last time I had paint on my hands, went on air with paint. It's okay. It was a good day. <laughs> but you're right. <laughs> it does kind of follow you everywhere you go. Um, the glitter is a little more fun than the fuzzy yarn um, threads. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I made this guy several days ago, and he's still... Um, traces hair. of them are appearing <laughs> in, well, in places that. Yes. Is it like you're not supposed to trace a leprechaun, or you are, or I'm what is, is there? Sure. Yeah, I thought there I'll was like something. Research, but but anyway, you know, you, you you know, we're. It seems that these these fun little holidays they come and go so quickly, mm -hmm. and um, and we're creating this a little early or a little ahead of the game just for the simple fact that then you can enjoy it. You know, if you yeah. want to make a gnome, you can enjoy it. Um, you know, leading up to that, that fun day um, and, and beyond the rest of the month. So, and it's like hard to believe that March, I mean, it's really, where did, incredible. You know, January and February are yeah. poof, gone. It's like you know? we're going to be a quarter through the year now. I know, and it's, it's hard to believe. Easter, Easter is March 31st, March 31st, I think. yes. Yeah. And, and part of the reason, too, that I'm, I'm kind of morphed into, um, you know, Valentine's, we didn't finish out February with all Valentine crafts. But um, is because um, I want to really get going on the Easter crafts. Yeah. Um, because um, it will be here, um, as you said, the end of March. And isn't that fun? It's <laughs> fun. So fun. He's a bald guy, he's but a, you know what? He's adorable. <laughs> he's so cute. He is so cute. You are doing a great job. I am so impressed. Yeah, he's a uh, he's uh, got some hair. <laughs> I was very concerned when I was creating these this yeah. mine. The, the you know the sample uh, that oh my goodness we're never gonna get this done <laughs> no <laughs> so so okay so when you're creating a hat you have some areas where you're gonna see some glue and some ugly stuff mm -hmm. unless you take it to the sewing machine which I decided not to um, just because it's a little not everybody to, has a sewing machine you know, yeah exactly but and I'm gonna do this trick I don't know if you yes, did that that's fantastic so, okay fantastic oh yeah well, you look got at a heart that. in there too look oh, at there see that he's like a little random. oh that was like perfect too cute. <laughs> <laughs> you never know you know I hate to throw um, the scraps away and I you know I was kind of looking at the glue residue when I was making the hat and I thought in, in the raw edges you know they're kind of boring you know kind of just looks like felt Mm -hmm. You know, and I thought, how could I finish these edges where, you know, that they would look more finished yeah. and, um, and it would cover up the, the glue blobs, of course, that I, that were visible when we created the hat. And I thought, I just took all of the scraps of felt and chopped them up and Why not? voila, there we go. go. We've got a fun little trim for this hat. Yeah. So, okay. It works. It does work. It's working great. You're doing, great. doing a little and dab. those two those little pieces you know once the glue sets up this yeah. is, that was actually the best way you could have done that um because you didn't end up burning, burning your fingers nope by that pushing was easy. it into the hot glue um yeah that was a phenomenal way to go about that and um yep, then that's... talking about these little legs and these arms um you know um I, I just created some foot shapes. They're kind of like shaped like a little bean and, um, and glued those together, put a little polyfill inside them, glued them shut. Call and then I, we carry some really fun, lots of really fun St. Patrick's Day things. Uh -huh. And we have socks. Uh -huh. We have some so, really fun socks. Okay, I see what you're doing. You know, and so I, you know, we could have made the legs a little less spindly, but I decided <laughs> to, for us to share a pair of socks. So would you believe that this is all just one sock. That's one sock. This is one sock. Mm. Yes. So, so that was kind of fun. I just stuffed them really hard. I did put a little bit of wire in them so that they can be posed a little bit. Um, but um, yeah. So, so super duper fun. Yeah. Um, I wish I had more time for this one. I know. Yeah. I know. And I'm rushing as fast as I can, but I'm getting there. <laughs> you are. You're doing great. And um, so definitely not a 10 or 20 minute project. On no, this one. it definitely was not. And I knew that. And I thought, yeah. I'm just going to ask for the forgiveness of all of the viewers. <laughs> but that, that's OK. Um, Creativity. Creativity. Conquered, finally conquered all right. a craft um, with the a mannequin. Man. So, Sorry, I'm probably going to have felt for days. Look at that. 
<laughs> it's raining filth. It's but raining we need some filth. for our arms and legs, so it's yeah. good. It's okay. all good. Somewhat. We have to clean this up a little bit, but yes. But hey, oh, he's there's coming the nose. together. Okay, there we go. He is coming together. I Cute, love it. Beverly. Where can we find <laughs> everything green? Apparently, uh, <laughs> and, everything green is at Michael's. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so and we're out at 1459 East LaSalle in the Hay Creek Shopping Center. Thanks, Bev. Till next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Keep it here.